Old Television. Femunyo. Abalunja abatuliriza era abatulaba mwasuze yo mutya erinya lya mukama face uliye bazibwe mwe bale kwe kumira ku munyo mwe bale kwe kumira ku salt a uh, esawa zituse endagane zetwa kiriziganyiza ko nako lwajjo ngatuga amanti tugenda kubera ku mpewo ku salt fm atene ku salt tv okuva ku sawa 3 okutusa ku sawa 5 Tubeto ndeda urobu da chiko obo bugenze nga tuete kateka. Haba uh, kugunga bacha kwa saganya viva kwa saganya. Na ye finally tumazene tujia kumpewo. Era tegezo mlala no mlala tegezo mlala. Butuna avawano kusawa tanu. Tujia uba tugena no msajja wakatonda. Kukanan land. Aberenga sabira haba luwade. Aberenga sabira haba inebi zibu. Aberenga sabira haba inebi tawana ejitali jimu. Na yate olina mukisa. Gwari wano mu Uganda, obama wanga gatu ya torode, obemi tala wa mayanja, na ugena funa umu kisanga tuwa nukumpewo, na dala guataso ula kuduka kujia kukanani. Doctor, uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise shalom. shalom. Shalom, shalom. I've been introducing to them that the program we promised to them today, it has just started, and uh, Doctor, um, I think you're going to say hello to them. Then secondly, the Bible teaches in Psalms 122 verse 6 to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. After greeting them, we pray for Jerusalem. We kick off the program, sir. Thank you. Well, it's an honor for me. It's a privilege for me. To have been invited uh, to the SALT TV and radio. Okubanga nyaniri zidua okugereri mwenna ku salt FM ne salt TV. And then those who that they do great job, they will never be seen themselves. They are always hiding. Nti abantu ababa kwa limi meja man. Tewa tena kuera ga brikase la baba bekuese. And then let me just begin by saying uh, what the salt is all about. Kanta ndike no kunyo nyola nze chente gera kumunyo chichicha kutegeza. When the mamas and then uh, prepare the very good food. Ba mama abu nga bate kate kemire tu womira. No one will say, oh, the salt is very good. Uh, Batono nya chizibu no kusanga ya agamati. Oh, bane umunyo nga guba demuru unji. But they will say, the food is very good, delicious. But they don't know uh, what the food makes very good tasty is, is a salt. And then when you go to the house <coughs> and then you see very nice house and then everyone they say, wow, what a beautiful house it is. But no one will say, this house is uh, very nice because of the light. But they always admire about the house. But they don't know the secret of the that makes good the house is it is a light. So that's what the word of God says. You are the salt of the earth and then you are the light of the, the world. Those who that they do great job they will never uh, call themselves this and that, this and that. But they are just doing the job. That's what, how I have realized about the salt <laughs> of the earth, about this ministry. And then I am so happy that I am called uh, in the salt of media and TV. 
era musanyu funyo okubanga yanirizidwa mu mikutu jino ejiri ne rinyeri eryo munyo those are they are selfless people but they magnify jesus abantu aberekereza ne bagamba katu yimuse yesu waguru thank you very much twayanze nyo twayanze ege amen amen asibu so we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Tusabire emirembe ya Yerusalemi nga Bible yetu ngamba. We all know that we have the flag of Uganda and then uh, uh, the nation of Israel. Nga fena betu manyinti tuina bendera ya Uganda na ya Israeli wamu. I just came a couple of days from uh, the nation of Israel. Naze okuva mugwange ya Israeli enaku mtone mabega. When they fly uh, the missiles uh, from all over to the nation of Israel. Every day, four to five thousand missiles. And then thousands been been killed, and then uh, thousands they are been wounded, and then thousands, hundreds also they have been captured. And then uh, thank you for the nation of Uganda that you have been standing and praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Because you know all those things is we live in a very last days. Things has been shaking around the whole globe. And then it's happened in <coughs> Ethiopia, been killing a lot of people, young girls been raped also as well. Chibadewo ne mugwange ya Ethiopia ngo kufa kunji nganaba na baku atibwa baka basa njizibwa. And then it moves to uh, North Sudan. Nechigenda mu Sudan yo mambuka. And then it moves also to, uh, to Ukraine. And now it's coming to the Middle East, which is the prophetic, the Bible. And then we live in a very last days. And then we are just in a very cutting edge. And then I have a good news for you. Jesus is coming soon. Yesu akoma umangu. And then I will begin and saying Maranatha. Erange na kutani kanga mbaga ma echigambe echo Maranatha. Akoma umangu. And then we pray for the peace of Yerushalayim. Era tu gena kusabide mine mbeja isirai ya Yerushalimi. And then if we can allow us and then pray together for the peace of Yerushalayim. Era mutukiri zetu sabide wa mumu ena muegata wa muna fe. And then interceding in behalf of the nation of Israel. And then interceding and then in behalf of all over the globe. So uh, thank you Uganda. Uganda. That you have been a friend of Israel and then praying for the nation of Israel. And then I believe one of the uh, East African also Rwanda has been good friend of Israel. And then I bless Rwanda as well. And and then, and then Kenya has been speaking up also. Kenya that showing their love for the nation of Israel. When they saw what's been happening in the nation of Israel. And then thank you Uganda. That's what you have from 10 African nations. Did you know that you Ugandan, you are welcoming people, you are the most hospitality people in, in the whole continent of Africa. And then if you allowed me and then praying together, for and then we pray according to the scripture that says, Psalm 122, verse 6, as he has mentioned, Pastor. So, at the body of Christ, we just lifted up the nation of Israel and then pray for the peace. 
Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. And then we pray for the peace of Yerushalayim. And then, Father God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. And then pray for the peace of Yerushalayim. Those who are, they pray for the peace of Yerushalayim. And then the Holy Bible tells us they will be prosperous. And then prosperity is not about, ma about money. And then Father God, prosperity is about health, to have prosperous health. And to live a long age. And then to have a big family is a prosperity. And then to have a peace of mind is a prosperity. And then it is a prosperity it's to have a good health is a prosperity. To have a good sleep, a sound sleep, it is a prosperity. And then you promise us, Lord God, as we pray for the peace of Yerushalayim, and then you shall be prosper. And then prosper in a ministry as well. And then prosperity in the word of God. Prosperity to have more vocabulary. Prosperity in leadership. To prosperity, how to use the wisdom. And Father God, I am praying for the nation of Uganda as well. They are praying for the peace of Yerushalayim. And then to live a long life for those who are, they are in authority. And the president to live a long life. And then in Hebrew says, We wish you to live a long life 120 years like Moses. And then to those who are in authority, divine protection, divine guidance, long life and we pray for the nations for those who are they are watching and then we wish of them to live a long life and then a strong life and then prosperity life in the name of Yeshua. And then, Father, we pray for the nation of Israel. Let's bring peace. And then the peace of shower over the nation of Israel. And then to the neighbor, all the Middle East. And then bring peace. Let In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amina. Mm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Doctor. Esara, Ekuta Kati, Esavide Yerusalem, Esavide Gwangaria Israeli, Esavide Uganda, Esavida Bakurembe Zeba Fe, Esavida Mawanga Gona. I've been telling them that the prayer has, mm. uh, has included every, every nation, mm -hmm. leaders, mm -hmm. Yerusalem, mm -hmm. and Israel. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes, Doctor, we can go on with a message that God has put on your heart. Yes. And um, I'm, I'm going to be your interpreter tonight. Praise God. You know, yeah, thank you very much uh, to be my interpreter, a such man of God, you know, in a very few years, 12 years. I feel like yesterday while I was ministering, I feel like as if I was in a very big crusade. Uh, again, being to... Musajja wa katonda weba le kubanga ukirizo ukonzi vonula Ate mamafuta agamanji na ye Na aganto unakuruwa jo chiyala bie kusande Yaba demuru kunga na urunene nyo Eda mkama ya mkose zato kufube mioyo So based what I have the information was Thousands has been giving their lives A new converted And then again thousands and hundreds also They were re 
giving their life to Jesus. Era amawuli amalunji galina nti abantu banji abalabye ngabalo koka abalala nabala banga 10 na 10 nabonga ateba wayo bulamu eri Yesu and uh, doctor those are the people that we could see but there were many people millions and of millions of people who were on TV and radio and on our social media uh, around the globe who renewed their lives and those who converted. Wow. We can never know. It's only the Lord that knows how many there were there. Wow. Let heaven speak. Yes. And then we'll have big surprises. Amen. Mukama katunda yamani era yamani mpira jagen do kuabantu orukuri de chigambo chakatunda. And then thank you very much once again. Mweba de nyo nate. Let me just uh, read the Holy Bible. Kansome mchitabe chitu kufu. Second Corinthians chapter uh, five. Aba Corinthians chuo kubiri ya sura tano. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then twenty, twenty-one. Aba Corinthians chuo kubiri ya sura tano. Okuva kuruwe kumi na msaavu. Oktu kakuwa bidi morum. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things became new. O muntu ye nabu abamu kristo, chavabere chitonde chidja, ebye dangabiwe deo, labangabifusebi jia. Verse 18, And then all things are of God, who has requires us by himself, by Jesus Christ, and then has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Nebi on nabi veri katonda, e ya tutabaganya na ye, ye ka, kuwa kristo, na atu wa fe, o kuweleza, o kuwa kutabaganya. 19, 20 and 21, to wait that God is in Christ, Reconcile the world. This is the point. I want you to take a look at it. God was in Christ reconciled the world into himself, not imputing these transports into them, and then has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassador of Christ, as through God did beseech by us, by praying you in Christ, seated by reconciled to God. For he has made himself be seen for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made righteous of God in him. Ntika tuonda yali mu kristo, nga ataba ganye sina yeye njini. Irombuli za agame, ntika no katunuli denga kakuru nyo, kateke ko akakoroboze, ntika tuonda yali mu kristo, Nga ataba ganye nsina yeye njini. Nga ataba balida biono no biyabwe. Era, nga ya tutele safe. Echigambo, echo kutaba ganya. Chetuvatu vera ababaka mkristo. Chetuvatu vera ababaka mchifocha mkristo. Katonda nga afana na nga abega ilida mufe. Tubega ilida mchifocha mkristo. Mutaba ganene katonda. Atama nyachibi. Ya mufule chibi kuruwa fe, fe. Tuli oke, tu, fe tufu uke, obu tu kilifu buka katonda, moye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a good news for you. Nina ama ulida ama unji jemuli. Good news. Ama ulida ama unji. You have been reconciled. Musa sidua. You have been forgiven. Muso nyidua. Those who that you are watching and listening right now. You have been reconciled. You have been washed. You have been clean. You have been holy. You have been sanctified. You have been forgiven. What am I saying? That's what, what God says about you. God have reconciled. The whole world. 
Esiodna. Through his son Jesus Christ. O kuyita mu Kristo Yesu mwana we. Let me tell you this. Kamba budi le chino. 7.7 billion people. Abantu obumbi musamvu ne milioni rusamvu. In the mind of God. Mubirozo bya katonda. In the mind of Jesus. Mubirozo bya Kristo. In the mind of the Holy Spirit. Mubirozo bya moyo mukufu. You have been already reconciled. Mwaso mwasonyi dwadda mwatabaganyi dwadda. You have been already forgiven. Mwasonyi dwadda. Let me add up. You have been already healed. You have been already delivered. In the mind of God. In the mind of Jesus. Before the foundation of the earth. Before he came to your mother womb. Before you have been appointed. That be a prophet. You have been washed. You have been holy. That's what, what God says. I'm saying the whole world. Did you know what you know when He says here? God have reconciled the whole world. God, God was in Christ. Ye katonda yalimu Kristo. Reconciled the world. Eighteen, you see. God was in Christ. Yes, katonda yalimu Kristo. Reconciled. The into himself. What does that mean? You have been reconciled. You have been washed. You have been clean. You have been holy. You have been forgiven. You have been healed. You have been prosper. As, as we speak right now as we speak over your life and then he sent his word and then he healed them all and delivered them from darkness to the marvelous light so there is a village called dark there is a city called Dark. There is a nation that called Dark. But God have God have delivered us from that village to the village of light. God have, re, God have delivered us from the darkness of city and the city of light. God have delivered us from the seat of darkness from the nation of darkness to the nation of light. We have been in darkness but God have reconciled us. God have delivered us to the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So you have been forgiven. I don't say it. God is saying here. You have been forgiven. You have been washed. That's what we have the message. In a New Testament, over 153 times, and it tells us, go ye to all nations and preach the gospel. What the gospel mean? Good news. What that good news? Because we live in a very negative age. Everything is negative. The media is negative. And then it tells you breaking news. What breaking news means? And then breaking heart. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. No problem. Breaking hope. Breaking love. No good news. But we are here. We come with the good news. We have in the gospel. Gospel means is good news. Good news. 
So that's what we have a good news. We come to you not with the breaking news, not breaking your heart, not breaking your emotion, not breaking your relationship. But we have come with the good news. Good news. You are forgiven. You are white. You are clean. You are holy. You are sanctified. You are healed. You are prosperous. This is the good news for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have been forgiven. How did that that? God he sent his only begotten son. Jesus Christ Jesus Christo. died for me and for you on the cross shed his blood without the shedding of the blood there is no forgiveness so what is the difference? what is the difference? those who that you hear now come again those who that you are hearing now when you allowed Jesus a savior and a lord of your life in a fraction of second just in a fraction of second therefore if if anyone is in Christ you are a new creature all things is passed away. Old, old, the old life. You can be a drug dealer. And a gang member. Frustration. Theft. Murders. The moment you repent. The moment you say. Jesus. Yesu. I am a sinner. Come to my heart. Be my Lord. Be my savior. Be the blood of Jesus Christ. Have washed you. Cleanses you. And then the old, the old things is pass away. And in everything. You became a new creature. A new person. In the eyes of God. You are new. So let me go another scripture. And then, you know, Peter, chapter 2, verse 5. Peter is first Peter? Yes. First Peter is Sura Biro Nirwakutan. Peter is Soke Sura Biri, Onirokutan. Peter is Soke Sura Biri, Oruniri Orokutan. Starting from 9. Uh, Second Peter, first Peter, first, first Peter, chapter two, cha chapter one, chapter one, chapter two, chapter first two. Peter, chapter two, yes, verse nine. A Peter that you saw, a sura biri when you did one way And then the Holy Bible says here, Bible in Tukufe Gamba wait. After he became a new creature, the old things has passed away. Everything became new. Now it says this for you. Because you are in a dark in a dark village. You are in a dark life. In a dark family. In a dark city. In a dark nation. But now, you have been delivered from that dark to the marvelous light. In, you know, in the original of uh, Greek, and then it began, who has called you out of darkness to marvelous light? But the English is make it first, uh, you know, it should be last, but the last should be first. But 
But you know, here the scripture, the Holy Bible says, verse 9, who has called you out? Called you out means it's an exodus. Like, you know, the children of Israel, the chosen people, they were oppressed for 400 years under the Pharaoh. And then God have delivered them, which is Exodus. That's what we have. The Bible says Genesis and then Book of Exodus. So Exodus is coming out. Or in other words, is come forth. So they were oppressed by the Pharaoh in Egypt by the man of God Moses that has been a messenger to bring them out of that oppression or darkness of the nation of Egypt and then you know Exodus and then when they come out, they don't just come out with just empty handed. And then the Holy Bible says, and then they come out. Let me, let me read this, yeah? Yes, sir. And then go Exodus chapter uh, uh, 12. Verse. Yes, sir. Verse 35. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed the Egyptians jewels and silvers and jewels of gold and remnant. And the Lord gave them the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So they sent them such things as they required and then spoiled the Egyptians. You have read from uh, 35 and then 36. Exodus 12, 12 25 and 26. No, no, 35 and then 36. All right. Um, Musa, Neba Sababa Misiri, Ebi Ntwebi Afeza, Nebi ntwebi azabu nengo ye. Mukama naba waba antu. O kwa gari wa mama asoga aba misiri. Nebaba wa bieba asaba. Neba nyaga aba misiri. Tusomye o kufwa kuminabiri. Uruwa satumetanu uruwa satumumukaga. So you know according the word of Moses. O kusinzira kuchigambo cha Musa. As we speak today. Ngabu tuwa geda katikati. To those who are watching millions around the globe. With the radio, with the TV, with TV, here in this nation, among this area and another East Africans, and then with the, uh, social medias, this is the children of Israel. They have done according the word of Moses. So what did Moses tell to the children of Israel? Go to the, to the Egyptians. And then God will give you favor in the sight of the Egyptians. When God gives you favor, they don't even know what they are doing. And then they just ask the children of Israel, they say, give us this. Give us this. What is this? Their fathers, 
Bazade Babu, but their grandfathers, but Jaja Babu, their grand grandfathers, but Jaja Babu, but Jaja Babu, but Jaja Babu, four hundred years, Emia Kavina, they have been working, Bari Bakora, and then you know, and then you know, how about the Israel, the children of Israel, they know how to do the jewelry and then gold and then diamond. Aba Nabai said, Baba Nyoko, they've been trebe, Yoko, and Dabio, Nabi, as we all know, Ngafena Batuchimani, and then you know, those people. They have been working for the Egyptians because they were a house made in their houses. But they were a slave. And, then, and some of them they are working on the field. Some of them they are working at the house made in the, in the house. So what they are doing? They were fixing the gold. And then the diamond. And then the more uh, you know, precious stones. And the most expensive clothes. But something happened. When a man of God has spoken. When a man of God has spoken. And then the children of Israel. They obey according the word of Moses. And God gave them favor in the eyes of Egyptians. So what they have been working their grand grand grandfather with the grand with just a fraction of second. And then they say. Give us this. I know my grandfather was working for this. I know my grand grandfather was working for this. Give me this. Give me this. Because the favor was on them. And the Egyptians, they don't have no choice. They start giving everything. everything. Take this. Take anything you want. Take anything you want. Take anything you want. In the name of Jesus, as the man of God, both of us, whatever the enemy that has been stolen from you for, for the last two years <coughs> by the COVID, COVID what have anything and everything that you have been lost and then now according the word that comes out of us in the name of Jesus because the favor of God upon you finance release is coming upon you in the name of Jesus finance is coming in the name of Jesus whatever things that you have been lost health is coming to your life Protection is coming to your life. Project Sound mind is coming to your life. In the name of Jesus, we speak over your life. That's what would happen with the children of Israel. And then right now, the Holy Bible says in the name of Jesus but before the finance comes but you have to do this you see and then I will take you back again in 1 Peter chapter uh, 2 verse 9 and we, st we, we, we still talking about Exodus Exodus means is come, come forth. Exodus come, coming out. So, you see, and then the Holy Bible says, verse 9, who has called you out of darkness? Who have called you out of that's just only who has called you out of darkness supposedly this one they should put it up high on the first that's what what should be an order with the original returns, uh, uh, with the original uh, uh, translation. Katoa kuvere mo 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 original eya Hebrew Aramaic. Oda boyeto bayari ne wano mukufu nlo kuzama nimi zafesona teba katika u. Exodus. Okuva. 
like how the Egyptians, they come forth, they come out of darkness from the, from the city, from the nation of the darkness of Egyptians and then deliver them to the Canaan where they've lived now. Mukuva musi ya busiwe musi ya nzikiza musi ya misiri o kugena musi ya bwensubize kana ninga bichiri orwarero. Who has called you out of darkness? Eh yaba yeto kuva mchizikiza into his marvelous light. O kuyingira mukutanga la kwe o kwe chitaro because God is light. Kubanga katonda chitanga la light it will be on the darkness the darkness could not comprehend. That's what, what the Holy Bible says. You are the light of the whole globe, the whole world. I've seen people coming out of Uganda. Being a missionary to other continents, other African countries, other Asian countries, other uh, 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 North America and South America and South Pacific. I can see some of you, you say, eh, me. Hey. That's what, what the Lord says to you. You will be the light to the continent of Africa. You will be light to the Middle East. You will be light <coughs> to China, China, to India. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So after that, because you are in his marvelous light. So your city is, you are in the light. That's what, what God is. So there is no darkness. When you are in the light, there is a divine protection. When you are in the light, there is a divine provision. When you are in God, what does that mean? You know, whatever God's vision, there is always a provision. Whatever God leads, there is always a divine provision. And I heard this story by Mother Teresa. Uh, and then uh, they've told her, and then she says, I will go and feed the whole globe. And they say, Nebamugamba. Hey, Mother Teresa. Mama Teresa. We know you, you don't have nothing. And then you are poor. And she says, no. I have three penny plus God, and then I will go and feed the whole globe. So I have three Satu. small but plus God. So when God is there is always a provision. When God is provision there is always a divine a divine a divine provision. So don't tell me that I'm in Uganda and I don't know if I can make it. Hey, that's what, what the Lord says. You and the Ugandan, you are majority. Gwe ne Uganda neate. God and in Uganda, 
You are big. You are majority. Katonda ne Uganda. Bwebunji obusukiri de. And then the Lord will bless you. Katonda gena kuwa mukisa. That's what, what the Lord told me to tell you. Who has called you out of darkness the marvelous light? So, when you are in the marvelous light, there is an identity. What kind of people are there there? So that city or that village or mm. that nation in the light because he called you out of darkness to his marvelous light. And then after that, he says, You are a chosen generation. You see, your identity is you are a chosen generation. Who are you? Who is your, your identity? You are a chosen generation. And then he says, you are a royal. But in fact, and then he says, you are a king. Or a royal. When you are a royal or when you are a king, what does that mean when you are a royal when you are a king? When a king speaks at establish, it is an authority. Because, you know, the scripture says, uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 17. In life, we are king. You, so you are here in the earth, and then you are a king. From Pershit, which is Genesis, this, which is in Hebrew, is Pershit, which is Genesis, the beginning. And then that's what, what God says to Adam. I want you to dominion and then to rule over the earth. What does that mean? You are a king of the earth. You are a royal of the earth. Take dominion and then administrate and then cultivated and then protected it coming in protected so you are a king and then when king speaks it's established so you are a king when king speaks you say you know move this mountain and then you have the power of life and death in the power of your tongue. So when you speak, you speak to your mountain. You know, the, uh, in, in the Holy Bible says, Let the weak say so, I am strong. No, 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 do not say, let the weak think so. Bible take a leko muna fachiro ozeko. No, by thinking you will never get nowhere. Mukuda mukuchiro oza kubro oza. Tuo ina chori chusa. You need to speak. Ote kwa kuogera. Now you are a king. Kubanga katoli kabaka. Speak. Yogera. Tir mountain. Tu oyogera eriro sozi. When you are weak. Bobari manafu. If say no, oh, I'm weak. No, 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 don't, you know, let the weak say so, I am strong. So you are a king. Because when you speak, you have the power that comes out of you. You know, you're not what you have thinking. You're not what other people think about you. You're not what media says about you. You are what God says about you. And God says, you are strong. 
Nti oli wa man. God says, Katonda aga. You are a king. Oli kabaka. And then you know, and then again, the Holy Bible says, "Atere chigamo chakuto no chogera." Let the sick say, "So I am healed." Nti no muruwa de na we gama nti mponye zedwa. And then if says, "Don't think." Toda mukubiro wozako. No 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 no. Says, "Let the sick say so." Yogera kubango buyenza bolu kulimiro gama nti mponye. Let the sick say so. O muruwa de gama nti mpona. I am healed. O muruwa de gama nti mponye zedwa. I am healed. I'm not right to get healed. Sina, but I am healed. I'm not right to get healed. Si, 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 si I'm not right to get delivered. I am already delivered. You know, yesterday, yeah, I was so amazed. I mean, hundreds who have been delivered from demon obsessors. Now you have been delivered. And then keep saying, I am delivered. I am free. Why? Because you are a king. When a king speaks, it's established. I'm saying, in the spiritual realm, you are a king. Whatever, whatever that comes out of your mouth. And then you are profiting, you are prophesying over your life. And then in the, the Holy Bible says, Let the poor say, So I am rich. And then it says, Don't think. It doesn't come by what you think. Speak. Yatura. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am protected. That's what you should say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, because you are a royal. And then again, you are a priesthood. As they have said earlier, You've been in darkness. Now you are in the marvelous light. So this is your identity. You are a chosen generation. When you are a chosen generation, you are a royal. You are a king. Now you are a priesthood. What did that priest do? This is my favorite. God have reconciled the whole world. And God has put it in our heart the reconciliation. Priest does what that that priest does. Come again. What did priest do? Um, oh, Kabona, Kolachi. As they have told you earlier, I came from the nation of Israel. And, uh, two weeks ago, weeks they were the day of Yom Kippur. And then in Leviticus 23, you can study about it. Um, come again. Leviticus. 23 and then you can study for yourself. And then once a year, and then the priest will present it the nation of Israel and it goes to the holy and holy. And then the priest so in the nation of Israel, Yom Kippur Day, that's what would happen 50 years ago. All the Middle East coming, they were surrounded by all the enemy trying to destroy the nation of Israel. The day of Yom Kippur. The Yom, the Yom Kippur is the day of repentance. You can go to Kotel, which is the western wall. By walking. Not by driving. You cannot drive. Because it's a day of uh, repentance and to see yourself. So, you know, and then he presented the whole nation of Israel. And the priest has to go once a year to the Holy of Holy. 
mchifeche cha watu kufu. So he have a choice. So wabeda wo kusala wo. Either he's going to die to the Holy Foli. Oba agenda kufira mchifecho. Or he will live. Oba na kumaonga muramu. So the other people they will be going out. Abasigade baba sigala ngabweru. They will put it a rope or you know something that gives sound on his leg because, because he's presented and then he will take the blood of the goat and the you know the lamp and then all kind of blood and then with water and then with uh, uh, snuff snuff Asuru de sadaka, eyo musayo kufudu obama undiga, obama umbuzi. And then, when God, when God forgive the nation of Israel. Katu ondabu asonyi wegu angale seri nga kabona alichikiride. And then that man, he will come back live. O musajone ya genze yo, obama kabona sibu hagu. Or that priest. Bwa wona na hava yo, nga katu ondabu asonyi. Or he's gone die. Obama na afida yo. So that's a big responsibility. My God. But Jesus. So when he dies, does it mean that the nation has not been forgiven? Yeah. Bo ya fira angayo. Kabona bwa agenda ya watuku watu kufunafa. Chitegeza ni sadaka jemada ino msaigwa ya tutebio nabi ya abwerele. Temuso nyi idua. But that's what, what we have now. Kakati wano chetulina. God have reconciled us through the blood of Jesus. Kakati sadake ya kilizibwela ya webu ayo. Katona natu so nyi iladara. Yes, sadake yo mwana we Yesu Kristo. Ndi, yatuso nyo, yatutaba ganyana ye, o kuyita mu Kristo mwana we. Huu. There is no more death of a priest uh, representing us. No. So wali wo kudgamanti, eno jetuli ndi de, kabona ya genze watuku wa watuku vu, tavu de yo, Yesu ya wayo mutango, erana hava yo muna kusatu ngamulamu, fetu sonyi ilwe dada, because Jesus was a priest to die for us. <laughs> you know, everything is connected the earth and then the heaven. And then, you know, the veil was turning from the top to the bottom. Not from the bottom to the heart. So now we have been reconciled. So your identity is now you are a priesthood. And then you tell people. You have been reconciled. Because you are a priesthood. That's you have the hood. Oh. You know, when you have a doctor, you know, you know you, they put hood. Okay. Uh, so you have a part. priesthood. 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 I'm explaining to them Amen. what a hood is. Uh, yeah. This cover that Jesus was putting on when he's going to die. Yeah, yes. That's what they call uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. Yes. And then it says, Holy Nation. Era nagant muli guanga tukufu. So your identity is. Erinyari amekati. You are a chosen generation. Muli guanga donde. You are a royal. Muli ba muli ba chikachi tukufu. You are a king. Muli ba kabaka. You are a priest. Muli ba ba kabona. Now you are a holy nation. Era muli guanga tukufu, because God is the light. Kumanga katunda chechita angara. As they have told you. Ngabu embagambi. You are in darkness. Mwari mchizikiza. Now you are out of darkness. Kati mwava yo mchizikiza. To his own marvelous light. Ne muingira mkutanga lo kwe chitaru. That is the nation. Elie Gwanga. Now you are the holy nation. Kakati muli Gwanga. So your name is holy. Erinyario tukufu. Your identity is holy. And then you are a peculiar people. You are peculiar. You are peculiar. You like an apple eye of God. 
You are like an apple. Mulinge munye yeri solia mukama. You are like a salt of the earth. Mulingo munyo gwensi. You are a peculiar. Mulibanja uro. You are the light. Muli chitangara. You know the salt will not going to exaggerate himself. O munyo tegugenda genanga gwe gwe gurumisa. But nevertheless he gives flavor to the very big when the dark of this earth but you are the salt of the earth that's what i love the uh, tv salt uh, tv the whole concept is salt we are the salt of the earth <laughs> amen so you are a peculiar people so this is your identity. And then again, you should so forth praises to him. He has called you out of darkness to his marvelous light. Now, you know, so believe. But no, verse 10. Mm. Edda batari gwanga neeka akano muri gwanga lya katonda abali batasasirwa neeka akano musasidwa. Which is time pass would not people you are not a people. Tetwari bantu. You are uncircumcised. Tetwari bakomole. You are a gentile. Tetwari ba mawanga. You are without God. Ngatetwari na katonda. You are without Jesus. Ngatetwari na Yesu. You are worshiping other gods. Ngatu si nzaba katonda ba mawanga. But now, neeka akati. And then the you know the the the, the Holy Bible says. Ekisabu chuo vuchogera. But now. You are people of God. Now which has not obtained mercy, you are not mercy before. But, but, but now you have obtained mercy. Wow. I mean, this is your identity. You are a, a chosen generation. Gwanga donde priesthood bakabona royal abana bengoma king bakabaka chosen abalonde washed abatukuzibwa forgiven abasonyibwa clean abatukuvu holy nation egwange tukuvu this is you yefe this is the good news gema wulira marunji because if if anybody that in christ oh, oh come again if you anyone is in Christ, you are a new creature. All things is pass away. Everything became new. So you are a new identity. Welcome to new identity. But, but for those that you want to give your life, to have this a new identity. I want to call you out. God has been forgiving you. God has been washing you. God has been cleansing you. But now you have to receive his forgiveness. So can we pray? And after that, we pray for healing. I see many people, they will be get delivered. Get delivered. Those who are, you are watching, those who are, you are hearing. But faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It's, 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 it's everything in your mouth. And then let me let me read the Holy Bible here. Romans chapter ten. Romans chapter ten. Verse eight. But what says? But what says it? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth and then in thy heart, in the word phase which has been preached. Naye Bogera Butia 
nti echigambo chiri kumpi nawe mukamwako ne mu mutima gwo che chigambo echo kukiriza chetubulira that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shalt believe in their heart that god has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved kubanga bo yatula yesu nga ye mukama na kamwako no kiriza mu mutima gwo nti katonda ya muzuki za mbafu oliro koka what we are preaching to you now what we are been trying to explain to you now it is in your heart and in your mouth what we are preaching to you and faith comes by hearing and then hearing by the word of god what we are preaching to you and then you are Faith comes to you. Ngo kukiriza kuta nisho kuingira mugwe. Faith comes to your heart. O kukiriza nga kuta nisho kuingira mutima gwe. It is your responsibility. Kati buvunanyi zibwabo. It is you and then in you. Kati chiri kugwe era chiri mugwe. It's in your in, in your heart. Mu mutima gwe and your mouth. Mu kamwako. If you believe Bokiriza. that Jesus died for you nti Yesu yakufirira that he believed that Jesus God has raised him from the dead era no kiriza nti Yesu yamuzukiza mbafu and then the holy bible said bible yetu kuve gamba and then it says you shall be saved nti oliro kuka what that means saved mean nti ekigambo kuloko kachitegeza it's an original word greek word it says sozo ekigambe cho kiva mu mu greeki ekigambo sozo Sozo means is seven points. Sozo chitegeza ensongo omusanvu salvation okulokoka healing okuonyezebwa deliverance okusumulwa protection okukumibwa peace of mind okubwena emirembe mbogo shalom emirembe ne emirembe say shalom 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 you know what that means shalom shalom mumanche chitegeza shalom shalom peace to your heart emirembe mutima peace to your mind emirembe mbiro ozobyo peace in your finance Emirembe mu byenfuna byo complete e e e chitukiride completeness okubanga otukiride shalom 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 lekha shalom lekha lekha baruch haba baruch haba beshim adonai beshim adonai bless is who comes in the name of the lord awere do mukisoya ja mulinyali ya mukama so the lord is calling you right now katonda kukowola kakati Come my daughter. Jangu mwana wange. Come my son. Jangu mutabani wange. I'm calling you out. Nkukoora from darkness. Ove muchizikiza to the marvelous light. O yingire muchitanga le chechi jaro. Just all you have to do is Echo ino kula chiri chibuchoka. Believe in your heart. Kiriza no mutima gwo. Confess that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. Yatula na kama konti Yesu Kristo ye mukamera ye mulokoziwo. You will be translated Ojakuchusibwa in a fraction of second mukatikitiki from darkness mulutemere chiko the marvelous light ngovude muchitanga then your identity identity era erinyalyo it will be popular digena kwera lyanja ulo chosen mulonde king kabaka priest mulangira forgiven oyasonyibwa wash oyanazibwa clean eyantukuzibwa all the nation omutukuvu egwange tukuvu amen amen let's pray katusabe then i don't know how to do how to pray and then can you invite them yes and, uh, please okay uh because there are those who are also confessing in english let me translate okay y yes you so i would give the altar call yes, i translate I, I i just just simple you, you can be uh, sitting in your couch uh, maybe you are uh, doing some work but you are listening maybe mama you are cooking mama and then my sister maybe you are doing something maybe you are cleaning the house and here and there, here and there. but you are listening and then for those who are you are around the globe maybe you are in your bed but listening and then for those who are you are driving a car 
And then maybe you are listening on the radio. I don't know, for those who that you are also watching, sitting on your TV. And then please, can you just, you know, still stand? Anything, just anything that you do. Quit and then just for a moment. If you are driving, of course, you have to drive. Why But for those who are, you are cooked and then doing some cleaning, you know what Jesus has done for us? Just give him another two minutes or nine, uh, two minutes, please. Just so we can pray together. Let's just honor God. You know, when I came from two weeks ago in Yom Kippur of Israel, I just, you know, the Lord was taking me back how holy and reverend and then, you know, people are, you know, in, in fear, you know, the beginning of all the wisdom is the fear of God. Let, let not take it for granted, please. So just confess with me, please. Those who that you can, you can kneel down. Those who that you can, you can kneel down. Those who that you can, kneel down. Those and then those who that you can't, it's okay. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm weak. Help me. I come to you with all my sin. Father God, you have sent your son Jesus died for me on the cross and then you shed your blood and then you washed me from my sin I thank you because I have accepted you now you are my Lord Jesus because you have died for me because you have rose from the dead you are my Lord and you are my Savior in the name of Jesus thank you right now I have been washed because the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all my sin. I repent all my sin. The blood of Jesus wash me away. Cleanses me. I thank you because you have washed me. Cleanses me from all my sin. Thank you, Jesus. You are my Lord now. You are my Savior. I thank you. In Jesus' name, we praise you. Now, you are a new creature. When I accept Jesus, in my very young age, you know, don't, don't laugh at me, okay? Some of you might probably like me. I've never heard about Jesus. Because I growing up from the background, have, they have a fear of God. But they've never mentioned about Jesus. And then uh, they are the followers of maybe Ten Commandments focusing and then never heard about Jesus. But when I've heard about Jesus, gave my life to Jesus, hey. Hey. change my life. And then especially when I allowed him to be my Lord and my Savior, and Jesus, you are my Lord, my Savior. And then the people that was helping me to pray with, they say, now you are a child of God. He came to his own, but they have received not. But those who that they received him, now you have received him, now you are a child of God. I say, I'm a child of God. You know, my childhood, my the whole time, 
I fear God. And then all I know is thou shall not. Thou shall not. Thou shall not. Thou shall not. Eat this. Don't eat this. Eat this. This is not. This is not. Hey. Hey. But now I'm a child of God. Now you are a child of God. You are a new creature. Now you are a new man. All things just pass away. Everything became new. Now you are a chosen generation. Now you are a peculiar. Now you are a priesthood. Now you are a king. Now you are forgiven. Welcome. Welcome. To the body of Christ. Christo. Welcome. Tukwaniliza. Welcome. Tukwaniliza. To know Jesus. O kumanya Christo. I've said this. Injagalo gambe chigambo chino. Baruchaba. Baruchaba. Beshim Adonai. Beshim Adonai. You are blessed. Owele do mukisa. And we bless you. Ara tukwa do mukisa. To welcoming you. To the body of Christ. To his marvelous light. Now you are in the marvelous light of city. So the darkness is flee away from you. Now you are a king. You take dominion. If you have mountain. You speak. And the mountain has to move. He doesn't have no power. Every sickness. Every disease. Every poverty. Every lack. Has to go. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Those who are, you are watching around the whole globe. God loves you. God loves you. He protects you. Abakuma. You are loved by God. Katonda Abagada Ramu Limikwano Ja Katonda. Shalom Shalom. Shalom Shalom. Amen. Amen. Wow. Obudeba Fetu Chayene de Chika Zafenga, but we still have like fifteen minutes. Yeah, go ahead and uh Aba Kiriza Yes Kristo Kwero Moloko Ziwa Mwe Mba Mbani Riza uh Muniba Namukisa Aba Zemune Matura nga Oyatu denga, oyatu doblo kuzi. Mukama katinga, Yesu Kristo ye mukama obula mubo. Uri wa mukisa, era chogendo kukula. Kwe kuno nye kanisa ya balokole. E kanisa ya balokole kubugazibu enseno. Wadinaweli, gendo jegateko. Nebobo wabafuma, nebobo mba mwayo mbao. Mwava obo vine pasta. Bulijoba yitabaya yoba yitabafere. Na yate kato uri dange chisachigunde kubula mubo. No nyabantu abo. Ogende, oyogere kona bo. Oberenga, obeya njulida. Kubangu wacha ruo binje biyo kukula. Oino kuigilisi wa baibuli. Oino kuigilisi wa kusaba. Oino kuangero kumanya katondo kugende buziba. Oino kubatizibwa. So, uh, abasumba, eminimo jabwe mumu. Siyo dina, jejo. Kukana nilandi, tuku aniliza. Tuku aniliza, kukana nilandi. Uh, Bobango, uliko se, 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 uli Atera, osobola okubanga jori tola ba woka nise nza kuyamba. Wekumile kusolt TV, wekumile kusolt FM, tujaba tukua obaka, obongero kukuzimba. Kati njana kutege za mwe, abali mbitundu vyo nebi ya kampala wa chiso mkono. Ngo osobola okudu kakati. Omsaja wakatono no kufamu isira hili. Brava wano. Tugeenda kukana na landi. Agenda kusabira haba luwade. Agenda kusabira haba inebi etago. Agena kusabida haba avu. Agena kusaba. Omusa jono mkama ya mtu wa denga chilabo. Yavamu isi redi. Nga otolu tanise. Mkama na mgambo kujamu Uganda. Mchimanyite tuchaza. Na ye katonda. Ye ya tulete domu yudaya. Atu blessinge. Atu omu kisa. Elajo ya tuwa domu kisa. Na asalamu ukongeza yo tiketi ye. Kuruange nawe. Kwe kusala, kwe kusala wo. Tukule program mwene vaku sawa sato paka sawa tano uwa lero. Ngeri kule di range liku TV. Atebe tuwa mprogram mwenu. Adeyo kukana na landi. Asabira haba ntubo na. So inzo obange minimo jote jita ambula bulunji. Olika lero, olika subi, olibuwa iso, olinaka wa. Olimuka ampalo, olinaka selo, olimuchibuga. Duka kwa kukana ni. Omusaji wana yogereke liyo bulambuo. Akusabire sala, nge sala, eri live. 
waliwo abanna mukisaba sobola okujja rofu na chiri live we wa waliwo abawere do mukiso kuita ku mpewo na ye omwetaga ko live echigambo chi chinange rije chigeno kuchusa mu bulamu katonda ya manyi lwachi ayongeza yo ticket ye lwachi atu wadde obudde buno bwatu wadde lwachi tugena ne kukana ni olwa lero era nakedenga nange nchisabira nange mukama byeko byankola mu byankolera na wabeko byakolera nkwega ili debako gwo kubira kasimu sawa mukaga tanu butufu mawano nawo berengo duko tuke kwa ni mukaga mukaga kitundu ajja kubali ku mpewo uh, uh, unfortunately tetujja kubiteka ku mpewo ku mpewo katutu te sawa ze mpewo ku radio net tv esawa bidi nambirira no lecho ebinabera yo ono bifuna chiro neri wachi to duka kati no jja ku kanani runaku rwalumu mande tujuze kanani katonda kole bintu bi okuyita musajjo ono ngatana ba kudayo israeli sa doctor what i've been telling them uh, those that have converted i've been asking them to find the nearest churches the born again churches uh, to go and introduce themselves that they received christ uh, during your session and uh, even if they had quarrels misunderstandings with the, with the church now that they have reconciled with God and God has reconciled them through Christ, they can go even if they attack the pastors and, and tell them that they are now new creatures. Yeah, yeah. And I told them that pastors will have a mandate of teaching them more deeply about Christ yeah. and also baptizing them yeah. in the name of the Father, the Son, Son and, the and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. And uh, God has a plan for them. And I invited uh, some to come to Canaan if it's possible for them. Because we are talking to people who are far away and near. Mm -hmm. So uh, our church, where we are, at Makerere Chikoni, mm -hmm. that land is called the Canaan land. Ooh, look. Oh, oh. <laughs> hallelujah. When we are migrating from uh, the rented place to that 8.5 acres, to us it was a road to our Canaan. It was a road to our promised land hmm. we bought all those three pieces together they were together as you saw them uh, we didn't uh, we didn't push anybody out of the land it was it was it had even the perimeter walls we bought 8.5 acres and we said wow this is our canon land so we are the house of prime ministry is international but the popular name for the place is canon is canon Hallelujah. What a blessing. <laughs> it's canon. So, and I've been inviting others to come running in that when, you, when we break from here, it will take us like 40 to an hour time to get there and you bless them. I told them you extended your ticket yeah. for a reason. And that reason, it has to be them. They have to come and receive that blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, you know, the, the Lord is good. Uh, we are left with 10 minutes. Still, my ticket is on, but I, if the Holy Spirit wants me to extend it more, yes, I'm, I'm willing. I might probably go you to have Rwanda or you blessed us, you, you know, blessing. Yeah. So, uh, let me speak about the uh, finance. And then, uh, uh, what you have mentioned yesterday, you have the 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 structure you put it like as if pentagon yes it, it, we have uh, to, uh, the pentagon yes yes when i get the cool uh, structure nga ya pentagon no no when i left i was praying and then the lord gave me when you have triangle they call triangle three angles bobo you not try angle and then another uh Rectangle, which is four angle. Ne rectangle, e so denya. And then again, uh, pentagon is six hexagon, is gone, which is is uh, uh, five angle. Um, uh, pentagon ya ya so ndatano ne waro ne six hexagon e yen so ndo mukaga. And then you know, and then it's continuing seven gun, and Z then uh, you know. Zigen dada seven gun, eight gun. Uh, yeah, but this was uh, five. Pentagon, yes. Pentagon. Yes. So, uh, you know, in a Greek word, after Jesus died and rose from the dead, 
Yesu bwe yamalo okufana azukira mbafu and then they were on the 50 days on the 50 day kurunako rwa 15 and the 50 days for the pentecostal which is shabbat orunako rwa 15 le runako rwa pentecosti era shabbat shabbat which is you know after you know on the 50 days kurunako rwa 15 which is the feast of pentecostal ungalo runako orwo uh, they call Pende. So, Pende means is five. Pente chitegeza tan. And Costa means is feast. Costa chitegeza kabaga. So, with the Holy Spirit pouring out day. That's what you are calling the Pentagon of the church. <laughs> Pentagon, which is in the book of Acts chapter 2. On the 50 days of feast. So in Israel, there is eight feasts. Mu Israel Munana. One is Rosh Hashanah. Which is Rosh is number one, is ahead. That's what, what God says. I will make you a head, not the tail. Doesn't mean that you have a tail. Excuse <laughs> me. So that means I make you a head. That's what how it comes. Rosh Shana. Chavagam and Rosh Shana. Rosh Shana is a new year. And then Rosh Shana Tova. Which is Tova means is good year. Rosh Shana Tova. And then after that it comes Yom Kippur. What we have been explained earlier. Uh, and then after that, the day of tabernacle, which is the tenth day for seven days. And then another one is, which is, you know, uh, the, uh, the Passover. And then again is the Shabbat, which is the falling of the Holy Spirit. So there is, uh, out of those eight, there is a fulfillment of the prophetic word. And then there is not, some of them, they are not fulfilling the uh, prophetic word. And then for example, the tabernacle, the seven days, was not a fulfill. And, and everything is connected. You know, the, 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 the feast of God is connected the earth to the sky, to the heaven. That's what, what Jesus says in Mount Elif. He ascended. Yes, Christo. Agenda Kurusozi Sinai Narinya. And then as I am ascended, I will come back. That was the day of tabernacle. And then did you remember when Jesus took the disciple of Jesus to the mountain, to the mountain, and then they and then they say, when they see the glory of Jesus, they say, let's just build three tents or three tabernacles. So the Shabbat is, my point is, is a, it is the fulfillment of the prophetic. Shabbat. So I know the scripture says, this what you have seen and then hear. This is that that has been spoken by the prophet of Joel, I will pour out the spirit upon all the flesh. 
nti chemule aba no chechiri ya chagere mo nabi yoweri nti ndifu kumulo moyo wange kubonaba ino mobili so they began to old testament nebat ne chata ni kina mundaga no kadde the springboard was the old testament and then kwa yali yali mundaga ne kadde and then with all the old testament they cannot build the new testament mo mundaga ne mpya tete basobola kuzi you have to go to the foundation by nakuda yo kumusinga that's what what the holy bible says bless who that they are blessed wo mukisaba abawe bo mukisaba bless the bless abrahamic blessing wo mukisa o aba abana ba ibrahim whoever that curse the abrahamic shall be cursed buli ana akoli miranga abana ba ibrahim na ana akoli mirwa that's what there a lot of uh, 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 the 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 replacement theology yes on garwa chi bana abagalo kuchusa chusa and then they say no you know god has finished with israel Mbu katonda ya yagala wo fire ya Israeli no 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 god has not finished with israel katonda tagiza kugala wo fire ya Israeli who begin the good work in israel e yatani ko mulimo munji mu Israeli is faithful to finish it mwesi gwanti ya jagu maliza who is begin the good work in you era nawe yatani ko mulimo munji mugwe he is faithful to finish it mwesi gwage na gutukiriza because we have the god of abraham isaac and jacob kubanga twina katonda wa ibrahim na isaka na yakobo so you have the 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 the, the blessing that i will be speaking over your life ah uh, orwadira ino mukisa gwage ndo kuogerere obulamu bwafe the children of israel Abana ba Israeli did according the word of Moses. Neba kolo kusinzira kuchigambo cha Musa. They've done according Moses. Neba kola nga Musa bo yabagamba. I will be speaking over your life. Agenda kuogera eriyo obulamu bwa fe. Special for the financial release. Okusingira dala mu byemfuna. You don't have no idea how much your pastor loves you. Temuiza kumanya muwendo gwa kwagala musumba magwa bayinako and those who that you are hearing all over the salt tv abawuliza ku salt fm the salt tv abajiraba and in the radio nabali ku radio you don't have no idea how much he loves his people tomusobola kumanya musumba mwabagala chenka na wa and he's like a true father alinga dala tatu omutufu a true father is caring for his own people and then he told me you know this christmas is coming and then my people are worried and they are buying here and there there is a lot of pressure of finance and then pray for them please nangamba mugambi abasabire season yetambule bulungi so they can have a finance but above all so they know the source of the finance so they know the season of the reason the season of the reason is jesus christ why do you buy gifts because god has given us his son jesus as a gift Kubanga, to this girl to this so i will be speaking over you Agena so you can know him jesus yesu. and then again so you can have a finance Ato so when you give a gift I, now i have known jesus no yesu. then you will able to give as a gift because God gave me a gift his son Jesus died for me and then you can just share your big or small gifts nawe osobola okuba nti musizoni in the name of, but do it father i pray right now for the favor of god upon each one of them and then i speak and then i declare and decree this year is it is the year of favor the next three months there is a supernatural favor upon each one of you approach individual in the family 
mu family mu maka in the village mu chalo in the city mu chibuga on the nation ku gwanga i declare and decree nangirira ngandagira as the man that i'm appointed ordained commission by the almighty god ngo musaja kutonde ya ulibere ya londe bwa katondo kuweza as the priest and the king eranga kabake eranga kabona i'm declaring nangirira upon each one of over your people era buli muntu eri buli muntu yali let them have a divine favor okufuna okuganja okuveri wa guru katondo that divine favor that brings wealth transfer upon each one of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. We thank Tuduka kukana nikati salama gezi funa kusigalira ku business jango chimo mukiso msajja wakatonda agambi achulira agenda kulangirira omukisa gwe byemfuna season yeno emyezi gine satu october november december jikuvire munga miyaka mirunje langa miyaka jabu wa i mean jikuvire munga miyezi nyise miyaka jikuvire munga miyezi mirunji eranga miyezi jabu wa ngozi duka kukana ni Jangwa chime o mukisagwa season Ngo msajja wakatondo miudaya Ya uli wakatondo Uwe kisacha wakatonda Ayogera jetuli Tusanyu senyo Doctor we are very glad to receive you We are so blessed Thank you so much for being a blessing to the nation of Uganda To the whole of Africa May the Lord bless Jerusalem And protect Jerusalem Bless Israel Shalom Shalom. Thank you very much. Shalom. Shalom. God bless you. Soul Television, Femunio.